Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the uh, spindle beam. So in this lecture, uh, we are going to discuss the spindle beam in detail and uh, what is spindle beam and why we provide the spindle beam in our construction. The spindle beam is mostly provided in the RCC buildings or where there is a multi-story building usually. Like uh, if I consider this is in the RCC multi-story building having different floors, you can see at the first floor, the second floor, the third floor, the fourth floor are made of the high-rise building having 50 floor or 100 floor. So uh, we use the spindle beam uh, mainly in the high-rise building. Now, if this is my multi-story building, so when the load X on this building, for example, the wall load is coming uh, on this, uh, this portion of the slab, uh, this portion of the slab, then the wall load is coming uh, similarly on the wall load of this wall is coming on this slab. So what happens? Uh, the, uh, the slab cannot uh, take the much load of the wall. So we have to uh, increase the stiffness of the slab portion. Uh, for example, these, these are the slabs, these are the slabs inside the building, right? You can see these are the slabs inside the building. So to increase the stiffness of the building, we provide the beams uh, through the periphery of the structure, uh, through the outside perimeter of the structure. So these beams are known as the spindle beam. They increase the uh, stiffness of the building, of the overall structure, uh, and they are quite useful to take the load of the wall. So when the wall load is coming, so these beams are able to take the wall load easily and transfer it into the column because they are connected here with the column so they transfer the load into the column easily like you can see here in this way the load from the wall is coming to the beam uh, at the outside beam and they transfer it to the columns so in this way the whole load is transferred into the footing you can see here it may be any type of footing combined footing or the isolated footing but the scenario is like that and the wall load is coming here and the slab is not able to take the load so what we do we provide the beams and the exterior side of the beam the spindle beams are those type of the beam which are provided on the perimeter of the uh, building perimeter means the outside uh, exterior portion of the beam of the building they are provided through throughout the building uh, to increase the stiffness of the building and the main purpose is to take the wall load and transfer it safely to the ground or through the columns. So you can see here, you can see here that the wall load is coming on this uh, slab. So slab may be insufficient to take the load and maybe uh, maybe chances of collapse. So what we do? We design the spindle beam. We design the beam uh, on the exterior portion of the beam. So the beam which is placed on the exterior or the perimeter of the uh, building we uh, put a special name to this type of beam uh, is the spindle beam which is the RCC beam uh, and they are mainly designed uh, to take the wall and the slave load uh, and transfer it to the column and from then to column and to the uh, foundation. So uh, this is the uh, basic definition of the spindle beam that they are used that they are the RCC beam provided uh, to in the periphery of the building the outside exterior portion of the building uh, uh, to take uh, the wall in the slab load and transfer it safely to the foundation. Hope you guys understand that uh, the spindle beam uh, this is a special type of the beam and uh, guys uh, don't just forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos and uh, thank you for watching my video.